kiddo, what do you want to do for fun? Guys, it is Saturday night again, and holy crap, this has been one crazy week. I got totally fixated on doing one specific movie this week, and I just could not give it up. I couldn't find the DVD anywhere. I couldn't find the Blu-ray anywhere. I couldn't find the 4K anywhere. I couldn't even find the VHS anywhere. The movie that I am talking about is The Cat in the Hat. Not the cartoon or even the book, but the one with Mike Myers. <laughs> now, where did you get the DVD if you can't find it, you may ask. Well, I had to fake it just for this video. <laughs> I actually just printed this off the internet just so I could hold up the DVD here and say, we're watching this movie tonight, but I actually have to watch it on Prime video. I don't know why it's not available anywhere. I could have just ordered it from Amazon or eBay, but I thought I would easily be able to find it in a DVD store, and I couldn't. So, like I said, tonight I'm going to have to watch it on Amazon Prime. I believe it's also on Hulu. I think it's on YouTube, and I think it's available somewhere else too, but I don't remember. Oh, maybe it was Apple TV. I don't remember. You'll just have to look it up and see where it's streaming for you. Where did I put it? Oh, it's right here. So tonight we are watching The Cat in the Hat. This movie is absolutely hilarious. I don't think it really did that good in the theaters, but it's one that me and my family have totally loved ever since we first saw it. There's a lot of stupid jokes in here and adult humor. That's impossible! You're not just wrong, you're stupid. And it's kind of one of those that you see and you're like, this movie is so stupid, but then you think about those jokes later and you have to go back and watch it again and eventually you absolutely love the whole movie. So, my first thought on a snack for us to make for this movie was going to be cattails. Okay, just hear me out. <laughs> I was simply going to make hot dogs on shish kebab sticks and call them cattails. And I was like, that is way too simple. I couldn't even think of anything else cool to do with them. Because face it, you stick a hot dog on a stick and it looks like a cattail. But that was just too simple. So I went with my second thought, which is green eggs and ham. Now, I've been wanting to try this for quite a while now. I've seen it online. People have done it two different ways. They have made the whites of the eggs green, and they have also made the yolks green. What we're going to do is we are going to make the whites of the eggs green and keep the middle yellow. And we're not going to try to make the ham green because that's just a little bit too weird. Actually, I would eat it like that, but I didn't do any research on how to do that. <laughs> but I did go out to Giant Eagle and I found a couple of big pieces of ham and I got the eggs and I got the green food coloring. So let's go on upstairs. We're gonna pull that stuff out and we are gonna try our best to make green eggs and ham to eat while we watch The Cat in the Hat. To the kitchen! Okay, so let's go ahead and get out our stuff here. Ooh, yum, I wish we were having something with strawberries. Anyways, okay, so we have the eggs right here. I got two different kinds of ham. First, we have this giant slab of a ham right here. And then we also got this country ham right here that is boneless. This one has a giant bone in it. Now, we also need to get the food coloring, which I believe is up here. And I don't remember if there's actually green food coloring in here, or if it is something we're gonna have to mix. Wait, this is gel food coloring. We'll leave it out, but I don't know if that's gonna work. I think I have some other food coloring. Yeah, okay, here we go. I think this is, yeah, both of these are egg coloring. So one way or another, one of these is gonna work. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is prepare our eggs. Now, these are white eggs. 
In fact, that doesn't matter. These eggs could be blue or yellow for all I care. And it wouldn't matter because it's what's inside these eggs that matters. We need to separate the egg whites from the egg yolks. Now this might take a little bit of practice because I've never done it before, but I know you can get a thing called a yolk separator online. I don't have one. So we're gonna use a little hack I saw, a water bottle, an empty water bottle. We gotta take the lid off. And the first thing we need to do is simply crack the eggs. Carefully because we don't wanna break the yellow. We'll just do two for right now. Now, what we're supposed to be able to do is use that bottle to separate these. So according to what I saw online, we should be able to squeeze this a little bit, put it right over the yolk, and let it suck it up. Oh my gosh, it's working. Holy crap, it worked. Look at that, the yolk is right in there. Okay, then we Squeeze it right into the other one, and oh my gosh, I am so excited that that actually worked. Let's do it again. Right on there. It sucks it right up. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe that actually worked. Okay, yolk number two. Right there. <laughs> that is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Okay, so we're going to move this one out of the way for a minute. Go back to this one. And we're going to break out our green food coloring here. Now, we're gonna put in a good amount of drops here because we really want it to be green. Okay, that ought to do it. We're gonna take our little whisk here and whisk it up. And again, this is just the whites. Wow, that is seriously green. Okay, well there's that. Now that we have our green and our separated yolks, that looks so weird. I know you guys can barely see that in there but I can't believe how well that worked. That absolutely blows me away. <laughs> we are gonna move on to the ham now. Now the reason I got this giant one right here because it's an actual ham steak and it has the bone in it right there and it just reminds me of what you would see in the Dr. Seuss book about green eggs and ham. So we're gonna make that one because that is a little bit more Dr. Seussy. So what I'm gonna do to prepare this giant ham steak Ooh, oh my gosh, that smells good. Okay, all I'm gonna do is put some salt on here. Same on the other side. And take it out to the griddle. Okay, so I got the griddle heating up out here. We're gonna add a little bit more uh, olive oil to it here. The ham itself is fully cooked already, but we're gonna put it on there, we're gonna cook it longer. Yeah. As for the eggs, I have these two things here. These are rings that you put on the griddle and you put your eggs in them to control it so they don't just spread all out. Okay, so I think the ham has been cooking long enough here. We'll let that continue to cook over there. And we're gonna go ahead and start doing our eggs. Put one of these down. Another one. We gotta pour a little bit of this in each one of these. And then we gotta put one of these in each. Ah, uh, one broke. I think both of them broke. Crap. There's our green eggs right there. I'm gonna close the top and let that cook those eggs through, because I can't flip them. Well, we did the best that we could to make our green eggs and ham. Here it is. Honestly, that doesn't look too bad. I mean, the eggs themselves look pretty gross, but they did turn out green. The ham looks absolutely delicious. There you go, a good look at it. Green eggs and ham. The next time I would have to put a little bit of water or maybe a little bit of oil in the bowl uh, with the yolks so that they don't break because they stuck to the side of the bowl as I was pouring them out and that's why they broke. But there you go, one more time guys. Green eggs and ham for our Dr. Seuss movie night. 
with a cat in a hat. But quickly before we go, guys, we're gonna give a little taste test here. I'm gonna go for the one that still has the yellow oat yolk in it. There we go, our green egg with a little bit of yolk in it. Mmm. That actually tastes really good. It, it probably helps that it was cooked partially in the juices that were coming out of the ham. Mmm, mm-hmm. And let's try our ham here. Mmm, mm-hmm. Oh, that is good. Definitely not a traditional movie night snack, but absolutely delicious and brings you right in to the Dr. Seuss universe. Oh, yeah! <laughs>